you will always have tribulations and trials in your life. If you have a perfect life, you fool in yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you have a perfect life, you're not growing, mm -hmm. <laughs> by the way, because I think we grow so much out of trials and tribulations. And so this quote that I have in Still I Rise is, even though something feels so horrible right now, or what I'm going through is not something that's particularly nice, um, there's a reason for it. There's something I'm learning out of it and I will rise out of it. Mm. And having the will and the power to believe that you can rise out of it um, is important. I am here with Katie Kirshner, who is the Vice President of Brand, Content and Digital Marketing for NCR. I am not a traditional marketer, so I didn't come from, I didn't get a degree in marketing. I did corporate strategy development in the beginning of my career. You need a corporate strategy before you can then develop your marketing strategy. So it's like the next step of activation after you've decided where you're going to go as a company, where do you want to grow, um, and kind of that long-term vision. And I was doing both. I was actually dual doing corporate strategy as well as doing marketing strategy. And um, I just more and more got interested in marketing strategy and started to do that fully with sales strategy in the last company I worked at. And then when I pulled into NCR, I did strict marketing. So I started in what's traditionally called product marketing and moved more towards where I had been, which is brand strategy, that corporate strategy development, but how, it, how, it, how marketing helps to envelop that. So I helped to develop the corporate brand strategy, you know, the narrative that we take out to the market and then kind of that value chain after that. So once you've established who you are as a company and how you're going to portray that externally, you have to build content on it. And then you have to activate that content on some sort of uh, platform. Talent. A lot of your legacy marketers that may have longer experience building teams, um, you know, they're bringing a lot of great skill sets and capabilities did not move with the times to understand the digital component or content strategy or storytelling component of marketing. I think companies are now looking to be more marketing led, especially given the pandemic. So therefore you have a lot of these marketers who are struggling to say, oh, well, I've never been responsible for revenue. I've never had to kind of attack that top line and grow. A lot of the marketers who are now joining companies that used to be more sales led and marketing was uh, sales support rather than being a hand in hand we're both responsible for revenue marketing has a harder job because then they're convincing the organization that marketing can truly be a value and i think the talent needed to do that um, isn't quite there yet if you had asked me this question 10 years ago i would have said do not get a degree in marketing get a degree in management consulting or you know management lock sign finance um, cause you always have to know about cash flows, how business works, or, you know, focus in on operations. Cause you can always go into marketing. Now I will tell somebody, um, you should get a degree in marketing and you should definitely concentrate on the digital aspect of marketing data and digitization. Communication is very, 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 very important in building a relationship. Fierce Conversations by Susan Scott. She's also got a TED talk. She says, a uh, conversation starts with the word con. Con in Latin means together or with. And so um, when you have a conversation, it should be with someone, not at someone, mm -hmm. right? So it's gonna be on the receiving end. And she also said, confrontation also begins with con. Confrontation doesn't have to be a bad thing. It also means together. It is something that you're having a conver you're having that conversation, that confrontation with that person, not for a bad, but so that both of you are able to grow from it. And it's not just a monologue, right? Yes. And when I think about coaching and mentoring, the communication component, the consistent communication component is the important component, whether or not you're just having a conversation for growth or you're confronting on something that is maybe a challenge for them passion and conviction. If you as a leader add passion and conviction together, um, you inspire people to change behavior mm -hmm. and changing behavior changes lives, which at the end you, you hope that you're doing as you're developing someone towards a certain goal um, to develop in, or grow into the individual that they want to be. Resilience is one of them. Just based off of where I've been in my life and how I've grown, I would say resilience is one. And the, the second one would be trust building. 
gain trust from individuals that I want to trust me, but not in a malicious way, not mm -hmm. in like I'm trying to manipulate you, but um, just sin sincerely making it a second part of me of what do I need to do as an individual, as a human, in order to build trust with other humans. I learn a lot from my team and the talent that's been brought on and um, what they kind of influenced me to explore um, and kind of, and develop my areas of expertise or let's say skill sets and capabilities as well. Another component is podcast. I like to search new yep. podcasts and I'll search certain terms and get hooked on one. I love recommendations. Simple Made Possible is our new brand campaign. New, it's been going on for about a year. What we learned in how to shift a narrative within that campaign, maintain the campaign, but shifting narrative during what happened with COVID with all of our um, customers, and then understanding the path of what it takes to get back to the original top line of that narrative, the story. Um, that was a great learning experience, but it was also just we're super, I'm super proud of what the team had accomplished during that time, very short amount of time. Part of the campaign was really driving content marketing. We were, typical B2B company, very, very heavy in bottom of funnel material. It was all about us. We didn't even have middle of funnel. Forget yeah. top of funnel. We had no middle of funnel. We had no top of funnel at all. People weren't really buying. And if they were, they were extremely cautious about it, right? Because they didn't know what was going to happen next month or next week or the next day, right? And so we needed to build up this kind of consultative partnership positioning. And we had to, we had no materials to do that with. So what we did was say, okay, we got to focus on content marketing. We got to focus on top of funnel stuff. And man, what we turned around um, as a team led by an individual who's just amazing on my team, he leads content marketing, but um, saying, hey, we need to get articles out. We need to get thought leadership out. We need to help people where they are today. And the amount of time we pulled that and the results that were driven, I couldn't be more prouder.